switch. The three-row crossover by Hyundai may be losing ground to comparable offerings from other automakers such as the Toyota Highlander and Honda Pilot, both of which have ballooned in size to appeal to family buyers who are trending towards city buses. While a new Santa Fe looms in the next model year or two, the current version still worth a look for its excellent crash safety and strong value. We give it a 7.3 out of 10 for those reasons, and for its comfort and versatility. Styling isn't the reason to seek out the Santa Fe. Styling isn't the reason to seek out the Santa Fe. It's anodyne, stamped out perfectly along the median of crossover SUV styling, from its six-sided grille to its gently rounded roofline. The cockpit's more of the same, with subdued trim, a shield-shaped bank of controls, and wood green trim on expensive models. Performance isn't its strongest suit either. Gas mileage is middling, and so is acceleration from its V6. The Santa Fe's ride earns our kudos, and when its three-mode steering's dialed to sport, it tracks true down the highway. We're into the Santa Fe for its interior space. Hyundai surrounds the front passengers with all kinds of space, and heats and ventilates their leather seats, for a price. Second row passengers have it pretty good too. Reserve a third row for small people and plan ahead for light cargo if all the seats are in use, the Santa Fe's less roomy back there than its newer rivals. The Santa Fe has performed very well in crash tests, and comes with a rear view camera. Forward collision warnings and automatic emergency braking come standard on the expensive version, 